Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, you have seen how I sculpted this uh, model in the ZBrush. Now I'll just show you how to export this model to Substance Painter. So firstly, you have this model and uh, this model has got high frequency details and uh, I, I wanted to take a, a low poly model which is this to the substance painter and uh, then I want this uh, high frequency details baked into a normal map and these two maps I'm going to export it uh, to the substance painter for painting so um, what I want is when I'm taking it to substance painter I don't want uh, the subdivision level one instead i want subdivision level to be uh, two to be exported because i just wanted it to be a little bit smooth uh, comparatively so what i want is uh, first i uh, need to understand this that i'm going to export the second subdivision level and uh, i got the details in the sixth subdivision level so uh, to export the textures we have uh, two methods one is uh, in the uh, tool menu here uh, you need to go down to UV map and you need to set the size first so I'm setting a size of 4096 which is the 4k texture of UVs and then we have normal map and if you could see there are four options switched on one is the tangent space normal tangent space uh, if this option is off the normals will be uh, facing in the world space if I put it on it will be facing in the tangent space which is our requirement and the next feature is adaptive it is generally uh, for the better quality generally it's uh, the race which cast and gave you the result so adaptive uh, besides a better computing and the next one is uh, smooth UV which is basically when we apply mesh smooth the UVs also need to be uh, altered or affected with this uh, uh, when the mesh smooth happens so smooth uv is uh, recommended and uh, smooth normals is also uh, a, a feature which you need to switch it on so once that is done just click like this create normal map and then it starts processing your uh, texture and it gives you the result and it takes some time you have to wait because i'm baking 4k texture here just a minute i'll just uh, uh hit escape and then see uh, i just want to cancel the uh, processing Two thousand years later. So the textures, uh, a texture is baked here. You should be able to see that. So once the texture is baked, uh, the way you export is just clone NM. Click that button, which will clone the normal map into the texture menu here. So just click that button, and then you get that texture here. Then you need to flip it in the V direction uh, and the reason is the normals um, so the UV space in Maya is opposite to the ZBrush. Once the texture is selected click export and then uh, dagger I'm putting 0 to an M PNG format and then just saving it. So the texture is saved and now I'm going to choose the geometry. The subdivision level is 2. I'm going to export that mesh um, as dagger 3.5. 
3 and uh, I'll pick FBX format and then say OK with the default settings on. So the file is exported. So I'll quickly show you how to export uh, the normal map and uh, the mesh from Z plugin uh, menu. And here in Z plugin, you have multi map exporter. So go to the multi map exporter, make sure that normal is on and export mesh is on. Uh, when you keep this both on, these two textures, these two elements, I can say, because one is the texture and another one is object these two will be exported and you need to set up the size to 4k and then you need to go to this uh, uh, export options if you click that it expands and it collapses so expand that and then we have a normal map setting as you saw tangent space adaptive smooth uv smooth normals subdivision level to 2 and then make sure that uh, this flip V is also on in the size area. I'm putting it to flip V and 4K. Now you can go to the mesh export and then put the uh, size to uh, sorry subdivision to 2. And then it is squared uh, not the triangulated mesh. And then you got merge and group options on. Once it is done, just you need to click create all maps. It will uh, give you a browser for the location and then name it and save. It takes the same amount of time to bake the textures and model to the location and then you can get your maps from there. So one thing you need to remember whenever you're exporting textures in ZBrush, like in other softwares when certain things are uh, performed we often open our browser and then start browsing something or watch a movie or something like that until that rendering or something happens behind but while you are doing in zbrush uh, texture uh, while you're baking textures in zbrush you should not do any multitasking if if you do that uh, there is a chance of your file getting crashed is more so take care and have a good uh, textures and models let me know in the comments if you have any concerns with the, uh, the outputs